Hey folks, it's Antar, and I've got a new RU battle for you today. Uh, my opponent is Snuggy95, who I'm pretty sure I battled on this channel before. Um, it was, I think, a triples battle or something. Anyway, using the team that Jade Hex designed for me, and I gotta say, I really, really love this team. Thank you so much, Jade Hex, for designing this team for me. It makes me so happy. Anyway, my opponent leads off with Dust Ox, and I'm gonna go ahead and lead off with my Tachikoma! And I'm going to do something that I've never done before because I've never felt comfortable doing it, but I'm so badly expecting a Quiver Dance here that I figure a trick is a great option um, just to cripple this thing and prevent it from being able to, you know, sweep me with Quiver Dances. Anyway, he decides to go for a Light Screen, actually, so good for me just as well. Uh, he's locked into the Light Screen now. He's going to want to switch out. I get his Black Sludge. So I'm thinking, okay, well, I'm going to want to get rid of that black sludge. So I'm going to go ahead and go for trick again. And they, they tell you never, to, uh, never ever, ever to have black sludge on one of your Pokemon. And this is the exact reason why. It's so that because your opponent can trick the black sludge off of you and onto someone else on your team. Um, personally, I still like using black sludge from time to time uh, for trickers because not always are, you, are they going to have the opportunity to do two tricks in a row. Uh, and it's really great to have them take residual damage. Anyway, I go for the Volt Switch here to get out from under Flareon, and I go ahead and switch in my Tuesday, my Quillfish, because I know it's going to resist any Fire-type moves, and actually Flareon was going for Toxic, which is quite interesting, and it's good for me because Tuesday's immune to it. So now Flareon's going to go ahead and go for the Wish, and I'm like, okay, gives me an opportunity to set up spikes. So that's great. I'm going to try to get up all three layers of spikes, get maximum entry hazards, just for maximum damage when I start roaring with my, or I don't think it's roar, I think it's dragon tail with my steelix. Anyway, my opponent goes for the protect with the wish, thinking that I was going to go for an aqua jet or another kind of water type move. But no, I'm wanting to set up those spikes. So I've got two rounds of spikes up. Uh, Flareon goes ahead and um, recovers almost all of its HP with wish. Light screen goes down, not really like it matters considering Tuesday is a physical attacker. My opponent goes ahead and switches into Mantine as I set up my third layer of spikes. So now Mantine, there's not too much I can do to it, I guess, but Poison Jab, uh, which is the second attacking move on my, um, my Quillfish, is not resisted, so that's great. Um, my opponent unfortunately did not know that Poison types cannot be toxic. I tried PMing him about that, and I don't remember whether he got got that message or not in time before the battle ended. I think we were doing this over YouTube, it's not like we were doing this over uh, Zat. Anyway, Tuesday gets confused here, and I decide I'm pretty sure that I'm going to want to switch out. Um, yeah, I, I, do, I do indeed decide to switch out at this point, and I go ahead and send out maybe my Ardino, thinking that... You know, you can take pretty much any hit from this guy, including status, status moves, because uh, I can always heal bell away the statuses. Anyway, Armaldo gets hit by the spikes a lot, as I'm going to go ahead and go for the Toxic. Yeah, Audino doesn't run any attacking moves, it's Taunt Bait for sure. Oh yeah, I wanted to get rid of that uh, Mantine by Toxicing it, because I wasn't sure how else I was going to kill it. I don't really... I mean, I guess... Tachikoma could have done it if I'd switched it in on a free switch. Anyway, Stone Edge against my maybe is going to hurt a whole, whole lot because it's specially defensive, not physically defensive. And yeah, that brings me down to less than half. I do go ahead and go for the Wish this turn, so I could do Wish Protect Stalling, but what I wanted to do here was get a free switch into someone else. Um, and by free switch, I mean that they would take a little bit of damage from whatever the attacking Pokemon was doing, but would recover almost all, if not all, of that HP thanks to Wish. So I go ahead and send out Hatterack here, my Steelix. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take that Excisor like it was nothing. Uh, and yeah, I'm down to 253 HP, and I'm gonna get all that back with Wish. Yeah, so Steelix has Sturdy this generation, but it's really rare that you can actually Oko a Steelix to begin with, so I'm not sure that it's really the most useful ability, but hey, it's a little bit of assurance. Um, insurance. Insurance. I don't know. Anyway. Earthquake did a lot of damage, but again, wasn't even close to one-hit KOing. I mean, a crit would have without the sturdy, but eh, whatever. Anyway, set up my Stealth Rocks, which is great, because I believe this is the turn that our Maldo is going to die to poison, 
So considering that uh, Steelix didn't even touch this guy, I chalked that up to another Audino kill. Yeah, my uh, my Audino is a bloodthirsty little bastard. Anyway, Walrein is going to get massacred by all those entry hazards uh, since it's grounded and weak to stealth rocks. I'm going to want to switch out, fearing the Scald, and I'm going to go ahead and send out George III, my Slow King. I'm, I'm sorry, I still think that's such a clever name for my Slow King. Um, yeah, I'm way too impressed with myself. Anyway, yeah, gonna take that Earthquake. It didn't do too much damage. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and switch out just abusing Regenerator, really. And I'm gonna go ahead and send out Tachikoma, since even though it's weak to uh, Ice-type moves, I don't think he's gonna go for the Ice-type move. And I thought he was gonna go for the Earthquake. And um, instead he went for the rest, but it's still a free switch in to, for me. And so I know that this is either a Sleep Talk set, which would be hella annoying, or it's a Chesto Resto set, and indeed it's a chest it's a Resto Lung set. Uh, I'm back up to full HP thanks to Flareon's leftovers, and I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Leaf Storm here since it is super effective, and I think it can kill. Not 100% sure Walrains can be fairly bulky, but I'm really hoping it can kill, and it does. So I'm like, yes, die, Walrain, die. Um, so that's excellent. Bye bye, Walrain. And the best thing is, I'm not even locked into uh, Leaf Storm. I can switch out whenever I want, like right now, um, using Volt Switch. So I can accumulate damage. Yeah, again, Flareon's now getting massacred by those entry hazards. And this is really great for me. This whole strategy of setting up entry hazards, then um, forcing a bunch of switches. Uh, either with Dragon Tail or, you know, just by forcing switches, is actually a really good strategy. I really like it. Uh, and I've got a... this is uh, really a perfect stall team, and I know my strategy is kind of cheap, and especially for YouTube, when no one really wants to watch a stall battle, but I'm hoping that I'm providing you an, uh, excellent entertainment with my mellifluous voice and the beautiful background music and whatnot. Anyway, Flareon's gonna go ahead and go for the wish now. I think I just go ahead and kill it. No, I go for the slack off thinking that it was gonna attack me. Um, oh right, because it's gonna die to um, Black Sludge anyway. So yeah, that's why I didn't attack. So um, I mean, maybe there were better things I could do, but slack off really was a pretty good move, all things considered. So now, Mantine is out and it's down to fairly low HP. I'm gonna go ahead, oh no, it's going to go ahead and Toxic me. I think I run T-Wave on this set, and I, uh, T-Wave might be nice. Oh yeah, so I go over the Scald here, not thinking that it had Volt Water Absorb. I was thinking it was probably Swift Swim, but considering he doesn't have a Rain type on his team, not Rain type, a Rain Setter Upper on his team, although Mantang could have easily fulfilled that role. Um, yeah, I just didn't protect, uh, predict that, and, you know, with the wish, now Mantine's back up to full HP, I'm like, oh man, how am I gonna deal with this guy? Um, now, the answer is, I send out Tachikoma, 4x effective Volt Switch, boom. But, uh, I guess I really wanted the free switch in order to do that. I send out maybe, and I've got two Pokemon on my team now that are poisoned, uh, badly poisoned, actually, so I'm gonna want maybe to Heal Bell, um, yeah, so maybe get some leftovers recovery. Yeah, uh, so lots and lots of slow, stally stuff now. Mantine is going to go for the Surf, so it is carrying an attack, at least one attacking move. Uh, good for him. Um, and I'm going to hit myself in the confusion now, but I believe that's less than leftovers damage um, because Audino is a minus attack nature, and I believe I actually RNG'd it to have a zero IV in attack. Um, just simply because, uh, you know, why not? It's never going to attack. Um, maybe goes ahead and uses Heal Bell this turn, shakes its cute little white tail. Um, so it's going to cure itself, I believe, of confusion, and it's going to cure uh, the other two Pokemon on my team of poisoning. So maybe my little Audino, uh, uh, I think I'm going to give it the MVP award for this battle, because hey, it got a kill! Um, after all. So I'm gonna go ahead and send out Tuesday, who's gonna, uh, you know, Intimidate's not gonna matter. Ice Beam is gonna hurt a decent amount. That I think that Ice Beam is why I didn't want to send out my Touch Goma, but Rotom, uh, Rotoms are pretty bulky, so I could have taken. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I'm gonna go for the Poison Jab here. I get the Poison Hacks, but you know, I was gonna keep doing that, and so yeah, um, my opponent still, I guess, didn't check uh, his PMs. Did not realize uh, that Toxic was not effective against poison types. You cannot poison Toxic. Toxic. Sorry, you cannot poison a poison type Pokemon. 
Sorry, I got that out there. Um, Tuesday's going to go ahead and go for another poison jab. <laughs> Definitely not going to want an aqua jet. Um, and, you know, it's just regular poisoning, so it's not like I can toxic stall this guy out. I'm going to get confused here, and that's really okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, you know, I'm at full HP. I don't think he, there's really much he can do to me. And, yeah, Mantine's going to go ahead and cover a little bit of HP, uh, but is going to lose twice as much thanks to poison. And so now it's all a matter of time. My opponent withdraws Mantine at this point and sends out Bibarel. I believe that's his last Pokemon. And uh, Bibarel is just looking at me with that stupid grin. And I'm going to go ahead and... I th I'm not sure if I hit myself in the... Um, no, I go ahead and actually break through the confusion, get off a poison jab. Uh, Tuesday is very much impressing me by breaking through those confusions. Um, really, everyone on my team is playing their part well and doing work, so that's great. Um, Bibarel gets poisoned here, another bit of poison hacks, which is unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead and call Tuesday back at this point. Go ahead, going to go ahead and send out my Tangela, um, thinking that this guy was probably going to use physical attacks, slash water attacks, slash I don't know, but nothing that the Gargon couldn't take, since it is defensive and whatnot. And at this point, my opponent is going to decide to run, because he realizes that there's really not much he can do against my team, and so that is good game. So great game, Snuggy95. Feel free to challenge me again. Uh, I always love getting that uh, challenges through YouTube. Folks, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. I'll see you soon.